Is there a case for the ECB to act preemptively, given the, the way that the situation could deteriorate, the, the, the way we're tracking the virus uptick in many parts of Europe? Well, I think the most important thing is that the ECB uh, focuses very much on uh, what is happening, uh, is focused on its mandate of ensuring price stability, is focused on ensuring that monetary policy is transmitted to all parts of the euro area. I think we've acted very decisively. Um, uh, we did so back in March. Uh, we've made the right decisions at the right time. Um, preemptively, uh, I think uh, I'm not sure I would entirely uh, go with what's underlying that word. It's more important to uh, make uh, decisions based on evidence. And ultimately, of course, there'll be a degree of judgment there. Based on evidence, it's, it is, it is the message we take away. But does that mean then that you delay till December, you wait for that evidence? What is the value in, in delaying? Well, it's just over a month ago that we published our uh, latest uh, forecasts at the ECB. Um, and uh, uh, one month on, uh, from my own perspective, I can't speak on behalf of uh, my uh, other governing council colleagues, from my own perspective, the evidence hasn't changed today uh, to lead me to conclude that uh, we need to make some new decisions. By the time, uh, you know, we uh, meet again, there may be new evidence. Um, but uh, I think we have to remain absolutely vigilant. Uh, we have to also, and I think this is important, uh, just bear in mind that monetary policy has uh, we've made a number of very significant monetary policy decisions, not just the ECB, around the world. The key determinant of uh, economic recovery right now is fiscal policy action, uh, ideally coordinated fiscal policy action. Um, but uh, as I say, right now, in terms of monetary policy, I don't think there is uh, one month on from our previous projections. There's uh, new evidence to make us change our minds. But uh, by the time we meet again, that might change. What other tools could you use? Um, do, do you think that a rate cut, uh, another rate cut would be possible, or, or is that off the table? Well, nothing is off the table. We've got a, uh, a pretty big toolkit, um, and we look very carefully at which one uh, we should use. Uh, at the moment, I'd say our position so far has been that the, the rate cut is not uh, the uh, uh, the best tool to use in the current circumstances. Maintaining uh, liquidity in the markets has been uh, the most important thing for us to do um, over the past few months. So I think that will continue to be the focus. Is the euro area economy, though, Gabriel, do you think at risk of a double dip recession? Well, uh, you tell me what the path of the virus uh, is going to be and what, uh, what's going to happen. I think we live in extraordinary uh, circumstances. The degree of uncertainty that we're in right now is probably unknown. Uh, certainly for a very, very long time, we haven't seen anything like it. Um, so there's always a risk of a double dip recession. On the other hand, I just say this, which is that, um, I mean, obviously, the economies of uh, Europe uh, um, it reached a very low point in, uh, in April, May. We then saw a rebound um, once economies were opened up again. If economies are closed up again to the same extent, I suspect that we have learned, uh, businesses and households have learned a number of lessons from uh, the previous lockdown. So I'm not sure that we would exactly repeat um, uh, where uh, we were in April, May. On the other hand, this is a big unknown. Uh, it's a primarily a health crisis, um, which has caused an economic crisis. Um, uh, governments around the world have got to make a number of decisions on how to manage that best. We don't know when the vaccine is going to be available, and once available, how quickly it'll be uh, dispersed around the world. So. Um, the risks of uh, further recessions uh, absolutely are there. At the moment, we're not projecting them, uh, either in Ireland or the ECB. We're projecting mm. uh, 2020 being a low point, but then a recovery. But, you know, it's a big unknown.